everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for an unboxing that is long overdue. Um, I have been avoiding this for quite a while, um, because I just don't want to get myself all worked up in, in a rant over it, uh, but I do want to show them off. Um, back in February, January, February, March, I was having problems with Pop in a Box. And I did put out a ranch video uh, concerning my problems and issues with them. If you want to check that out, you're welcome to do so. Um, I did receive two pops. I think it was at the end of February, beginning of March, um, that I didn't um, order, didn't pay for. My, my account was canceled at that point. They were still charging my credit card in spite of the fact that I had canceled everything. So I actually had to block my credit cards. Anyway... Uh, these are the last two boxes that I had received from them. Now, I have no complaints on the items that were sent to me. I like both of these franchises. Um, as a matter of fact, one of these items is, that is in these boxes right here uh, is part of the reason why I decided to change up my poster next to me. Um, showing off my posters. Uh, Matrix. This is the original uh, film. These are kind of hard to find. Um, when the Matrix movie first came out, they didn't put out a lot of posters uh, in the movie theaters because they didn't know what they had at the time. They, you know, it wasn't. They didn't realize it was going to be as popular as it was. So this particular poster is kind of hard to find. Um, but I really do enjoy the movie uh, and the whole trilogy uh, with uh, the characters here that you can see with uh, Trinity, Neo. Oops. I believe it's Cypher and um, Morpheus on the poster here. Uh, but I thought it would be appropriate to put this one up because I believe that would be this one. One of the two pops that was sent to me at the end there with uh, Pop in a Box was from The Matrix. And it was Trinity. I'm very happy to add this to my collection. It was, it was. I know they're having issues right now with sending out things that people absolutely don't want, uh, that are, they've even thumbs down. Um, but at least in this respect, I'm a big, huge fan of Matrix, um, and uh, I love the character of Trinity. Uh, so I was very happy to add this to my collection. But like I said, I haven't done an unboxing up to this point of these two pops because I was I'm just. I don't want to be negative about the whole situation anymore. I'm just going to take it for what it is. Uh, she does not come with a stand, which is kind of surprising. Uh, normally these uh, figures that they make with these women that have very small uh, legs on them usually uh, come with stands. But I am a, at least I want to be a big, huge fan of Matrix. Love the character of Trinity. But, once again, very happy to add that to my collection as well. And this one does, you can see, you can see on the back of the box here, those are uh, the three characters of Trinity, Neo, Morpheus, and then Agent Smith are uh, the ones that are part of that run of characters that you can get from Matrix. And this is actually the very first one from Matrix that I have in my collection. We'll set her off to the side here. Here. And then the other one, I am a Marvel fan. Uh, as you can see, all I won't even see all these pops over here up on top with X-Men and that, but one of the comic books that I did collect back in the 80s and 90s as well uh, was Silver Surfer. And there is a Marvel Universe number 19. Silver Surfer. Now, of this particular collection, I don't think I have any of these, uh, but these, the, the ones on here, Silver Surfer, uh, Ghost Rider, Doctor Doom, Beast, Deadpool, and Dark Phoenix. Would happily add any of those to my collection. But this is the Silver Surfer. This is the second, I don't remember which order these arrived in, but 
These were the two last pops I got from Pop in a Box. And like I said, I'm not going to endorse or, or try to rant too badly concerning uh, Pop in a Box. Um, but very happy to add Silver Surfer to my collection as well of Marvel Pops. As would be expected, he's all one tone, silver on his board. And as Marvel, it is a bobblehead. Put him off to the side here as well. And then I have one other item that I wanted to take care of as well, um, since I only have the two pops. Um, I did get my Loot Tea uh, from Loot Crate. Uh, this is the one continuing subscription now that I have from Loot Crate. I may pick up uh, some uh, along the way through the Loot Vault or if they have a wonderful deal. But right now, this is the only ongoing subscription I have is the Loot Tea. We'll open this up and see what we got. I believe this is Guardians themed. Loot Wear for the month is Guardians. Uh, this is Guardians of the Galaxy T, Guardians of the Galaxy tank top for, for her. Uh, there are Baby Groot socks and Marvel's Defender socks for the socks. Loot Wearables was a Wash Hawaiian shirt. And then uh, Loot Undies was uh, Avatar themed. You can see all of those right there. But let's check out the t-shirt. Yeah, I believe it is Star-Lord. With Groot. There you go. Once again, very happy to add this to my collection of t-shirts. I think I can rock that. It's also got that very... 80s look with these colors and design as well, but yep, I think that will work. That is Star Lord and Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. We have our Silver Surfer Funko Pop and Trinity from the Matrix. Like I said, she needs a stand. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, enjoyed checking out. These uh, last two pops that I received from Pop and Box. And then my loot tea for the month of May uh, with Star Lord and Groot. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, subscribe if you want to watch more. Feel free to leave any feedback or comments down below. And thank you for watching.